welcome to the channel today finally we're gonna be doing the, uh, the wire tucking because it's rubbing bad on my on my wire uh, like the cables I'll show you okay so so we got those those out those out and he broke loose we got the ones down here out that one and one somewhere right there now we gotta do looks like one yeah one two and three all right let's get them out looks like there's more up there like one two I know the three more see that one two for sure and maybe one behind somewhere over there already took out those ones right there let's get the other ones all right so there's two more I took the ones from the hood and there's one more right there and one more right there to get them out you have to get the bottom one from the outside Alright, so it should come out now with a little wiggle, maybe. Am I missing one? Yeah, I got them all. Ugh, come on. Maybe up. Oh, shoot. That didn't sound good. I'm missing that one right there okay so I failed I got all of them out except one freaking bolt or screw holding it right there it's pissing me off I'm tired it's dark already I don't have no flashlight so I don't feel like doing it so I'm going to bed I'm gonna finish my beer over there call it a night I see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Okay, so after struggling with this freaking bolt for like hours, I finally got it out. The fender's off. Let me show you. This freaking bracket right there, that one. It was a fucking pain to get that bolt out. I'm assuming. It's easier if you take the bumper off, but man, that was that was a pain. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm grabbing hella bad on on the on the wire right there. So what I'm gonna do? I've seen on other videos you make you make a cut somewhere right here, and then you just run your wire through up here, and then zip tie it to this these holes right here. So that's what we're gonna do. Now let's do it. Okay, so it's cutting time. So I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna follow this line. Make like a small notch right here. And maybe right there. And then cut this out. That way you can, you can run the cable. Some through there and then weave it then that's the plan let's do it let's get to cutting 
Okay, so this is how it looks. Maybe a little hot. Yes. I'm just gonna hot, hot, hot. like that and now we're trying to shave this a little bit kind of bend it hit it with the hammer so we can fit fit our wire through there and up and down so I decided to cut this little lip and just angle it like this because I, I think it's gonna eat up the plastic if I just put it on like that so I'm just gonna angle it a little bit maybe like this I don't know we'll see just kind of clean this up a little bit and then start putting the zip ties around. We'll see that in a minute. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. And then you just zip tie it. But first, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wrap another, I'm gonna put some more electrical tape around it, just for extra, extra protection. Put this together as well. Kinda zip tie them together like that. All right, let's get it. Okay, we have it nice and wrapped, nice and taped all the way around. A little extra protection. A little more there too. Now it's time to tuck it upstairs. Up there. Oh man. It's kind of hitting right there a little bit. Maybe I should double up the tape right in this area. All right, let me do that real quick. Okay, before we we put any of the uh, zip ties, we're gonna do a little bit of touch up. That way it doesn't rust. Got some regular black paint. We're just gonna touch up all that stuff. Maybe some of the stuff underneath what it was rubbing. I'm gonna touch that up too. All right, let's get it. We let it dry. All right, so everything's tucked away, nice and zip tied. This one's kind of like I don't know. This little wire right there should be fine. I'll probably put another zip tie right there. Put one right there. Put one there. Put one more right there. I should have got a little bit beefier, heavy duty zip ties. Hopefully they last. We'll find out. But now I got a lot of clearance. And I don't have to worry about damaging the wire harness. And now we have just have to cut this little ears off and that's it. And then we put everything back together. That's gonna be a nightmare I think. Alright, let's put everything back together. Alright, so we finally got the fender on. It was a bitch to put it back on. Sam was taking it off. I regret doing it, doing it, but fuck it. All my line, body lines are all fucked up. That came off. Little lines, nothing lines up. I can't put. I'm missing one bolt that I can't get back in there. It looks like shit now. I mean, I got the wire tucked pretty good, but the rest of the car looks horrible. Yeah, this fender is in parts that never been taken off since probably got, you know, purchased in 1992. So, look, scratch my paint, scratch that. I got nuts missing. 
nothing fits right I hate it I'm all pissed off already I can't do nothing about it messed up my fender big old dent there all the lines are screwed up I'm mad I'm done I'm gonna go test drive it see if it's rubbing if it's rubbing still I'm gonna take this car to the uh, fucking cliff and just drop it off I'm tired I'm done why did I buy 240 why look at my hands <sighs> alright see you guys next time peace bye just gonna add a little detail on this mirror like that boom your yeah, boy send it all right let's put it on A little bit overkill. That looks all right. Don't mind my uh, my blinker. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh well, it's on there. This is how the roof is holding up.